Good morning everyone. It's lovely to be thinking of you all on this sunny but chilly Monday morning. I've got my fluffy blanket again because it's cold and my nice warm cup of tea. Oh, okay. Today I thought I'd read you a story and it's from this book which looks backward in the picture. It's a book of lots and lots of stories. It doesn't really have any pictures, but here we go. The Greedy Spider Once upon a time there was a spider who liked going to parties, even when he was not invited to them. One day he saw some ants running around on the ground telling each other some news. He could see it was exciting from the way they were running so fast he was sure they were telling each other about a party. He let himself down on his spider's rope so he could hear where the party was. But just as he was near them, oh, what will I do, what will I do, what will I do, mumbled a silly wood pigeon up in a tree. He couldn't hear a word. He tried again, he let the wind blow him a little closer and he listened very hard, but oh, what will I do, what will I do, what will I do, cried the silly wood pigeon up in the tree and he didn't hear a word again. I will go to the party, said the spider. I will send for my four children, they'll know where it is. So he sent for his four children and they came swinging along in the wind at the end of their four ropes. The first one said, Rabbit is having a party but he doesn't know what day. Tie a rope round my middle, said Spider, and when the party starts you can pull the rope and I'll come along. So the spider's first child tied a rope around his middle and he blew away in the wind. The second child came swinging along on the wind and he said, Antelope. Is having a party but he doesn't know when it will be. Tie a rope round my middle, said the spider, and when the party starts you can pull on the rope and I'll come along. So the spider's second child tied a rope around the spider's middle and swung away in the wind. The spider's third child came and he said leopard was having a party. And spider's fourth child came and said frog was having a party. But neither of them knew what day, so each of them tied a rope round the spider's middle and swung away on the wind. One beautiful evening when the moon was full, all four ropes around spider's middles began to pull at once. One pulled him eastward and one pulled him westward, one pulled him this way and one pulled him that way. Stop! cried spider. I can't be, can't be cut in half. None of his four children could hear him. He felt very ill just when he thought he really would be cut in half. The rope snapped and spider didn't get to go any of the parties. Ever since his middle has been really tiny. But do you think it stopped him wanting to go to parties he's not invited to? No, it has not. In fact, if you look, you'll sometimes see him swinging in the wind on his long rope, trying to hear what the ants are saying. There is one picture. Oops. Oh, it's the spider with all the ropes. So that's how he got his tiny middle. Sometimes when we see spiders, they've got tiny middles. Bye, guys. Have a lovely day.